Hi everyone, I am Sharon Haver from FocusOnStyle.com and I'm embarrassed to be saying... <laughs> <laughs> to be seen with me? Why? <laughs> I'm Brad Bowles, I am the editor-at-large for FocusOnStyle.com and also a, on the Real Housewives of New York City. And, and a, a part-time gondolier. And a part-time <laughs> gondolier. Do you know what that gondolier hat is from? That's because when we went to Venice last year, we bought it because last year for Halloween, my son and my poodle got dressed up as gondoliers, and that, yes. is, the, that is the poodle's gondolier. Well, I know exactly whose it is. It's lovely. I think it's very sweet. What do you think? So Brad is nothing but a trusted poodle. <laughs> I know. Well, that's for sure. Um, so today's subject is going to be... What to wear. It's a continuation of our, our previous yes. video on what to wear to a holiday party at home. What to wear to a holiday yes. party in the country. Because that, you know, can be a little precarious when it comes to footwear and snow. And since Brad but what if has you a live home, in the country? What Brad lives in the country. Well, and I you live know, in the city, too. And, and I also have the place in Jackson Hole, and I've been to many... Holiday parties and New Year's parties out in the country, even in like people's fancy barns, you yes. know, but these barns are bigger than some houses. <laughs> and like, what do you, how do you look festive when there's snow up to your knees and there's ice and wow. um, you're in a kind of cozy mood? So. Do you wear a wreath around your neck? No. Oh, <laughs> but do you wear a gondolier poodle hat? <laughs> Depends on if you're in Venice. <laughs> Do as the know. Venetians do. No? <laughs> Ooh. Um, have all right. Well, head. let's talk. Let's let's go down the list here. If you're at a holiday I party... I think the it, message you could take that off. Are you just going to leave it the whole time? I think it's going to be cute. Yeah. The, um, if you have a... Um, if you have an invite to a holiday party <laughs> you, in the country... Now you have, now you have oh. poodle gondolier hair. <laughs> yeah, now I have poodle gondolier If you're going to a holiday party in the country, I think one of the biggest uh, issues that you face is based on the weather. So, weather permitted, if it's a gorgeous weekend or a gorgeous evening, a crisp evening, obviously, it's going to be because it is the Christmas holidays, then, depending on which part of the country, unless you're in Boca, which is your favorite, you love Florida. Don't get you started on Florida, how much you love it. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I don't do well in humidity. No. So you don't like pearls and you don't like Florida. I don't like humidity, I don't like pearls. <laughs> okay. I think we've established that. <laughs> Okay, so what I recommend that you should do to shake it up a little bit and still look exciting and glamorous is, first of all, the, the rule of thumb <laughs> is you... wondering where he's going. No, he's rule going of thumb is you want to be comfortable because it is, it is casual. It's a bit more casual. But you also want to be a little bit glamorous. A little dressy. So uh, there are great ways to do that. I'm obviously wearing a cashmere blazer right now with a beautiful button-down pink shirt. Something like that. <laughs> my pretty says my clothes are cute. Uh, um, and then, of course, I'm like Sharon, who's sitting next to me. Now, she's the example of someone who's even more casual than I am right now. I, mean, I thought it was going to say something nasty. I mean, yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a basic cashmere sweater, mm -hmm. and but it's you know has a little sheer inset, and That's I also instead of wearing a plain t-shirt underneath it, I have more of a you know a, a meta matte Which metallic t-shirt. So it makes it, and I, I mean I I wear this during the day also. This is actually becoming one of my favorite new sweaters. But I think it's also, it's very casual, but it has a more glammed up vibe. And I mm -hmm. have a little bit of jewelry on, you know, I, I'm always, this is my new favorite bracelet, not new, but this is like my addicted bracelet. But um, I, I think, because it has a little rocker edge, but it's still jewelry. So I am very casual. And if I was at some party, I could wear, you know, big flat winter boots or, right. or, or even moon boots or, mm -hmm. you know, something heavy with this and, and skinny jeans, which you can't see that I'm wearing. And, or you can wear this with black pants yes. or something else. And also what I would add on this is maybe like a velvet blazer if I wanted it to get a little bit even, more and you could do even And you could do it in, or a, a, big in, scarf. in a beautiful amethyst color, a velvet mm -hmm. blazer and an amethyst. It doesn't or have even to, a tuxedo you can, jacket. You can think pretty. outside of the box. It yeah. does not have to be red. Just because it's the Christmas or the, or the seasonal holiday, uh, whether or not it's Hanukkah or Christmas, you do not have to be in red. No, and I think also like a beautiful tuxedo blazer on a woman and dark jeans and some comfy boots is just, it's a really nice, cozy, casual, yeah. more festive look. Do you remember when Celine Dion did that, that Chanel the a tuxedo? Oh. I knew you were going there. That was bad. That was bad. I mean, do you, I just, I mean. Don't wear your tuxedo What was backwards. Lagerfeld thinking? I, maybe he was thinking something a lot better, but when she got her hands on it, man. 
Well, she's, you know. That was one of the worst dresses, opposed to the one In where, history. I think no, it, I, I, no, there was that Kim Basinger one where one side was short and the other side had a top. I you know, Kim has were, never, ever been a style uh, she's a gorgeous. style icon, but she's gorgeous. Anyway, so what happens when you go into Brad's house? So, you know, he's in his house in the park, and mm -hmm. it's very casual. And we're in the middle of some kind of quasi-semi-blizzard. Like, what do you wear? Are you expect people to be coming in long, like... Hostess gowns? No, no, no. I mean, should they be wearing, you know, like their studded jeans? Let's see. Well, okay. Uggs? well no, yeah. No. Uggs. Don't get me started. Even Jimmy um, Choo Uggs. I think, well, for instance, last year at my, my holiday party, people came, uh, well, yes, most of my guests did come in heels. And it was snowing out, but uh, they did come in heels. And also, uh, just a, um, a keynote here that's very, very important for you uh, viewers uh, make sure that you wipe your feet before you come yeah, into a house. Yeah, you know, the little pop, pop, pop at the door on the mat. Yeah, you do it, please. And, and some people even have, you know, that little shoe brush thing that you can put in the boot cleaner, you can put your yeah. boot in it if it, so you really, get the mud the, off. I mean, people who have a house in the country really appreciate the effort. So you make the effort. But anyway, uh, so what I basically do, and one of your favorite subjects, which is a subject that we talk about a lot, Sharon loves to accessorize and she loves accessories. Those are one of her favorite things. And you can, in a, in a country party, you can really utilize accessories to zhuzh up your outfit. And he knows that that's my word. I know he fits. You love that. Actually, you know you know who laid claim to that recently was um, uh, Carson Cressley on uh, on Oprah Winfrey. Laid claim? I mean, remember when, we were, when, he, I, was, he, he when said, I was a stylist he, and Brad was a makeup artist? I mean, God almighty, on every set, the model would come out, we'd look at her and oh, it looks too plain. Let's zhuzh her up. I mean, I know, it was but like they, they said they, fashion they, they, so, 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 no, so he says it goes back to Ralph Lauren. He says, now, he says, he, he, he gives it to Ralph Lauren, the zhuzh it up. I give it to everybody who's ever walked on a photo set. If anybody out there knows where Zhuzhin It Up came from, A photo? Let us know. We use it on a shoot. Yeah, I know. But so the, it's just... But he, he did lay claim to it. Who laid claim? Uh, he's claiming... No, he's not laying... He's laying claim that it was um, Ralph Lauren. I, cl I lay claim that a bunch of stylists, art directors, makeup artists, and hairdressers, and some photographers lay claim to that, to saying it on a shoot. So you don't think it was some no, Jewish... No, I just... Gay boy. Well, get yeah, them... <laughs> It may have been a Jewish gay boy. It may have even been Ralph Lauren. But it, oh, but, but all I or, know is or one and the same. All I well, you know that horrible joke if your if your name is Lip Shits, my ass talks. Ah. Uh, anyway, well, he had to, you know, and well, it's true. He did have to become a wasp. He did. He to sell his product. That's terrible. No, there's a lot of waspy Jews. Yeah, but why did he have to become Ralph Lauren? Who wants to buy designer clothes from Ralph Lipschitz? <laughs> that's, that's a good point. We'll talk about that one later. Getting so off no, track. Why did Jews change their names? Why do other people with other I, ethnic names I change know. their names? Hyman Schmeckel. <laughs> Hyman Schmeckel. <laughs> anyway, so one of the things that I always uh, tell my guest is that it, it to come fast. You know we're going downhill. That's, no, we're not. Yeah, but we're no, but for for country party, the dress code that I usually use is called festive. Festive, festivus. Yeah. So, what do you wear to a festivus party? Do you, do you bring a Hanukkah bush? Do you wear a Hanukkah bush here? <laughs> you might. I don't do Hanukkah. Bush. Your son actually, with his sense of humor, might drag a Hanukkah bush. <laughs> yes. Like God knows, but he would try to probably decorate a moose. I know. But anyway. But it, I do. I do, It's definitely festive is the key word. Here. Festive makes me nervous. You know why? Festive means. Is that it you too broad? It's no, too scary. Because some or do you think it's or do you think it's too kitschy? Festive some is, broad is going to come in deer antlers. Come in and do, no, that's the guy. That's the drunk guy who's plastered with a pink nose before he gets there. He's going to be wearing the antlers on his right. head, and you know the red. And then the woman is going to be walking in with an entire Christmas scene and pins across her blouse. Like, oh, it's so cute. Oh, you know what? You're right. So festive, festive not a good one. Makes me nervous. <laughs> It's 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 festive means that you can be getting into too many fashion faux pas. Yes. I mean, but what is a good word? Is it good to say holiday fun, cheer? You know, cheers is another holiday an, cheer. No, cheers is another one of my pet peeves. People who are not British who sign their emails, cheers. Right. Honey, if you don't have a British accent, don't sign. What would Elsa Clinch do? What would Elsa Clinch do? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? 
I think Elsa Clinch, well, you know, she's always played it close uh, to the, you know, to the cup where she's really done. She, she play, she goes plain, she goes simple and elegant. I think that you can also say, you know, dress it up as you see fit. Just dress it up. Or, you know, you know we, we said this in our last video. Well, what we're lucky, though. House? We're lucky because we also have fabulous friends with great styles. So. I know, I, but I have some friends who don't have great style. <laughs> I don't. I, I do. I don't. I well, a, they're great a friends. And, you know, whatever they want to wear, you know, is fine. Let them wear whatever they want but I think it doesn't matter you, you should not be wearing those holiday sweaters they're stupid do not wear the Christmas tree brooch <laughs> oh. and you know I have I have could married, you be any more passionate no, about that no it's horrible and you know what if you're 80 years old uh -huh. and you wear them I, I know some people I'm thinking of you have Uggs don't you no, and you know I have I have the foot surgery, so I'm walking around with my um, cast, and I'm thinking that when I'm going away out west, by you that time I know I might have to be wearing some cozy shoe. A, I'm glad it's in Wyoming. B, I'm like I keep trying them on to see maybe I can't bring myself to wear them. I'm okay. sorry. Anyway, we at FocusOnStyle.com are here to give you uh, our style barometer any day of the week. You can check in with us, and just remember. Sharon doesn't like festive. I do like the word festive because my friends who are festive do not come with reindeer, uh, <laughs> reindeer antlers on their head. Do so they come with a tiara and antlers? That wouldn't be a problem if it's Amanda cool. Lavoie. That would be a kind of cool. It's like a, a, a Swarovski crystal antler resin tiara. That's very true. That is festive. I mean, that's about as festive as you're going to get. That's true. I agree with you. All right. Have a great holiday season. Enjoy yourselves and remember... Nothing is too much as long as you live it, love it, and own it. And don't drink too much. Yes. Okay? We don't, you, don't, you never want to be the party drunk. So take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. -bye. Bye.